In this video, we will look at an income and expenditure statement. Now, let's just revise quickly. Income is money that you get in, right? So people pay you. Now, in our example, we're working with a tuck shop. So all the money that we get from our sales, maybe selling cool drinks would be A and B would be sweets, for example. All that money is income. Then expenditures, expenses, and you think of like exit, that's money that goes out of your pocket or out of your bank account. And expenses would be things like the cost of stock, um, when you buy new stock, salaries, rent, and all that. So basically all the stock that you buy in a business forms part of the expenses. Now let's look at um, the income here. We got sales A, 7,000 Rand, sales B, 3,000 Rand. Now this A is they want to know the total income from our sales that we got in um, January. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say it's that 7,000 plus the 3,000 and that gives us 10,000. Okay, so that gives us the total income. Oops. Now let's go look at February. There we had sales. We got 8,000 Rand in from sales A. And then we don't know how much income we received from sales B. But we do know that in February the total income was 11,000. So 8,000 plus what gives you 11,000? And then this is going to help us determine the C, which is 3,000. How did we get that? We just said 11,000 minus the 8,000. Okay. Right, then that's B. Let's try and look at how they determine this thousand rand. This is the rand change. Now, in an income and expenditure statement, there's also a last column that would maybe be the percentage change or the amount of change. So, between January and February, right? What change was there in the income? Then, what you can do is you can say the one month minus the other month. So, you could say February minus January. Okay, and then you get that 11,000 minus 10,000 gives you 1,000. And now we look for B. So B, the question here is basically, what amount of change was there between the sales A in January and February? And this one is easy. We can see that it's 8,000 minus 7,000, so it's very basic. It gives us 1,000 rand change. Then when we get to sales B, we see that we sold 3,000 rand worth of stock in January and the same in February, and so there's zero rand change. Okay, now looking at D, we note that the income was our sales, then the cost, then the salaries, and the rent would be our expenses. All right, expenses, money we give out. Now, let's see what happened. We had that there's a 10,500 Rand in total in January for our expenses. If we look at where that comes from, that was the 5,000 plus 3, 5 plus 2,000, and that gave you 10,500 Rand. Okay, so that was the total amount that we got. Okay, now let's go further and let's see. Here at the bottom, it says negative or minus 500 Rand. So what happened here was we wanted to determine the net income. Okay. And the net income would then be your total income. So this would be your income minus your expenses. Like what do you walk away with basically? After you've paid everything, you paid your expenses and you had your income, what do you live with? Now in the case of income minus expenses, we saw that the income was 10,000 minus the expenses 10,500. So in our case, um, there was actually a loss. It was 10,000 minus 10,500. And that's why it has a negative amount. So basically, January was not a good month for this tuck shop. Then we go to February, and now we need to determine if. Remember, it's your net income. So it's your income minus your expenses. And our income for February was 11,000 minus 9,500. Just type that in your calculator and you will get 1,500 Rand there by F. Okay, and then finally, um, 
we also have E to find and it says the change between January and February. Now we already know if you want to find the change you're going to say February minus January. So in this case we had February 9,500 minus 10,500 and that gives you negative 1,000. Why is it a negative month? Basically what happened was um, you had more expenses in January than in February. There was a thousand and less expenses thus in February. Okay. Same thing happened in um, here about the stock, the prices for the stock, that 4,000 minus 5,000 gave you a thousand rand and a negative amount. So here you bought a thousand rand less stock. That's why it's got a negative in front of it. Okay. Right. And then let's also see if we can determine G. What was the change in rent between 2000 and 2000? If you just subtract them, you'll see that 2000 minus 2000 gives you zero. Okay. Right, now that we're done with the income and expenditure statement, there are a few questions that they could ask us here. Um, they can say, determine the percentage change in the income between January and February. So when you're looking for percentage change, you're looking for um, the old or the first amount minus the new one divided by the old amount. And since we're working with um, the months, the first month was January minus February divided by January. And since we're looking for percentage, we have to multiply that by 100. So let's go and see if we can um, find there the percentage change or the incomes between January and February. Okay, so let me erase all of that. We see that the amount of change between January and February was a thousand rand, and we also see that in January the income was 10,000. Now we're going to need that. So we go back and we say the old amount minus the new amount that already gave it to us, that was a thousand rand, January minus February income, and divided by the January income amount, 10,000 multiplied by 100. And you will note that that is 10% when you calculate that. Okay, then it says what percentage of the total expenses in January is paid as salaries. So let's go to January and look at the salary amount. There's 3,500 rand and in total the expenses was 10,500 rand. So when you look for um, a percentage, a part of it, a part of a whole, we say the part divided by the total amount multiplied by 100 since it's a percentage and the part was 3,500 rand divided by 10,500 rand and um, that gives you 33% when you determine that. And then our third question here, did the business operate at a loss in January or February? Let's go check. Um, in January or February, we see that in January there was actually a negative 500 Rand, which tells me that the income was 10,000 but the expenses was more. So in that case then, they lost 500 Rand. So that was in January. Okay, and then our final question, um, did the business make a profit in January or February and if so, how much? Let's go check it out. In February, we see that there was a thousand five hundred rand, right, extra because the income was eleven thousand and the expenses were less than that. So they definitely made a profit. How much profit did they make? It's that one thousand five hundred rand. Okay, so let's go write it in there. It was in February and it was a thousand five hundred rand. Right, that's the end of our video. Please remember to share, like, subscribe, become part of the whiteboard SA team.